Man, the trip up that mountain never gets easier. But at least we're finally here. Arngar? Hello? One here? No. Arngar? There you go. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Runkolf. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Uh... I wasn't already formally recognized. I feel like I kind of proved my prowess before now, but the horn's all it took, then. All right, then. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting. Down, which means push. Down. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. I will try to use Master it properly. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Down. Thank you, Wolfgar. Completed your training, Dragonborn. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. In the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar of unscathed the word. Oh, that hurt my head. Arngar. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Now that my head is killing me, I would love to learn the shout that was used to defeat Alduin the first time around. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Why did it why does it matter? If it was used once, why can't we use it again? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Well, since you've helped me this far, I guess it is fair that we be honest. And since I have nothing to hide, it was the blades. They've helped me find out about the shell, and I wanted to come to you to see if you could help me. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bound. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? I don't really know much of the Blades' past, or what they've done, or how you feel about them besides what you've just said. But the Blades are helping me. I can promise you, I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. Well, can you teach me this shout? And if so, I can give you my word that I will use it for the right powers, not using it for the wrong will. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It 
is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Wait, I thought you knew all the words of power. That's why you're the, the Greybeards. You know the way of the voice. You are the masters. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. Okay. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin then? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Why haven't I met him yet? Or her? Since you haven't really described much of him. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him then? He lives in. He speaks to us only okay, rarely. He, okay, okay, okay. Never to outside. We we just went over that. Being allowed to see him. I asked you, how do I get to the top of the mountain? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Um. Okay, I guess that means follow you. You Greybeard's very ominous and not willing to use your voice. You just assume people... And do the Greybeards not understand how stairs work? Because one of you, I think it was Wolfgar last time, was stuck on the other staircase. Do you, do you need a push? There you go. So you're able to use shouts, an ancient voice only known to dragons but you can't figure out how staircases work. Interesting. How are you guys not cold up here? Okay, just be silent. I guess that works too. to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Look. Far. Core. Uh, I'm learning three words at once. But is that safe? I guess it's fine then. Uh, is there like a new technique I'm not understanding? Okay. I've absorbed two of the three. All right. I will grant you Still getting the hang of this. This is your final gift from us, Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay, I think I can handle that. All right. Yeah! Oh, I guess I got too close. 
All right, let's focus. wasn't too hard. A little bit easier to use than the others. Quickly, we must move. Who knows when it comes back. Channel it. And... until the storm comes back. Hopefully there aren't too many. Ah. Where you going? storms. Survived up here, but one not down there. I wonder what happened to it. Okay, this looks a little bit more fierce. Is it attacking? Drem Yolok, greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Um, I'm sorry if I look a little shaken and. I just wasn't expecting you to be a dragon, and especially be the leader of a group of people that master the voice and use it to help the dragonborn. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dova King. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Ren Shout. Can you please teach me? Hmm. Drem. 
patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. Why do you intrude here, if not for Tinvark? Uh... I don't know what that means, but I guess I will take this. A gift, Dovahkiin. Your understand fire as the dove do. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me, not as elf, but as Dova. Uh, yes, let me prepare. Okay, here you go. Don't be afraid, Fasnu. Let me feel the power of your thumb. So, oh, do you want me to shoot it at Come, you? Come, Dovahkiin. Ninyol, strike me with the fire of your thumb. Uh, okay. Yol! Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you please teach me the dragon wren shout? I know it's supposed to be forbidden, but I need it to defeat Alduin if I wish to save this world. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No. You seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know that I was coming for Dragonrend? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then, if you're not able to teach it to me? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? I need to stop Alduin to save this world from devastation and potential end. Yes, Alduin, Zembach. The Elder Brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? The prophecy has said that only the Dragonborn can stop him, and so it, the duty has fallen upon me to be the one to do it, even if I didn't choose to do so. Hmm. True, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. 
Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? I don't necessarily believe in destiny, but I will stop Alduin, whether that means successfully or successfully with the end of my life as well. And so perhaps your destiny will be fulfilled, who can say? Desmot Mahus. Even to the Dove who ride the currents of time, destiny is elusive. Alduin believes that he will prevail with good reason, Rachmul. And he is no fool, need may. Rinnik Gutnol, far from it. He began as the wisest and most far-seeing of us all. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? I've never thought about it. I just figured you might have just preferred this as your meditation spot, as most people can't reach you. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the dragon wrench out, right? Or that's what I would believe the answer would be. Mm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. An Elder Scroll? What is that? Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyer. Are you saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time, and with breaking time, he's able to arrive now. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. 
I'm just confused on how any of this particularly helps me. T. De Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Do you know exactly where I can find this Elder Scroll? Because otherwise, I'm just sitting in the dark. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Alright. I guess I can just go ask either Esbern or Arngar. They might have some sort of answer, or idea at least. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. So, once I locate the Elder Scroll, what do I do with it? Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no Dragonrend in the power of its first expression. You will see them Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Haken, Gormleth, Feldir? Who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. How could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? How does it possess the ability to hold such power? Vormendark. I do not know. Perhaps, in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps, also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. Wait, you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. What does the Dragon Rin shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. 
A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. You're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train, or am I the first one to come up here? Hmm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words? How? How do you quite do that? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Fine, and Yol. Boost just draws me more towards it. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Well, I wish to meditate on a word of power, if you would so help me. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Let's... Let's meditate on Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power. You have it, as do all Dove, but power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your Sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? Okay, I think I'm starting to understand what you mean by meditating. I guess I will be heading out now. I need to go ask Arngar how to find this Odor Scroll before any more time is wasted. Drem your look. Greetings. Uh, I just said I was leaving. Look through. I'll leave you to it. What is... What do I even make of that? I don't know. But let's quickly make our way back down the mountain. Well, that's not the way. Where, where's the path? Oh, it's this way. I need to follow these stone pillars back. Storms are starting to come back. Dude! Our guy got to refocus. Focus. 
relocate power. seemed the fire shell takes a lot more away and takes longer to rebuild the resources. I need to be careful when I choose to use it. It seems like I won't be able to use it again for a short while. spent our whole entire day up here on this mountain talking to a dragon. Crazy the turn of events that we've had lately. Luke, Structure. I can see the gate. Luke, Seems Arngar went back inside. Hey, you. still outside. Let's check up here first. Let's head back outside. Maybe we missed him. Oh, there he is. Excuse me. I thought you were on guard. Where could he be? Gotta be around here. Maybe he's this way? This is huge. No, not over here. That's him either. Where could he have gone? There's some other door back here that I didn't notice. No, there's not. Anything back here we could use? That didn't upset them. I'm sure, they won't mind if I take a few things. I mean, after all, I am the Dragonborn. Keep looking, I guess. There's no way I missed him. Arngar. So, you spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? 
Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? No, but he told me how I can find it. Well, so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. I need your help finding an Elder Scroll that the ancients used. Do you know where it could possibly be? We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Well... Guess I'll be heading off to the Mages Guild now, unless you you know of another way to defeat Arduin? Perhaps not, but this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Arduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Well, guess I'll be heading out now. Sky, got you. Uh, same to you, I guess. All right, let's head out. Wait, that's the courtyard. We gotta go this way. Got our bearings mixed up. That's a beautiful sight to come out to. All right. That's strange. I guess I can hear whoever is in the courtyard practicing. All right. I guess we better head out. <laughs> 